WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we begin our day with a mixed bag. The mix goes like this. Dow's off 197. S&P is flat. NASDAQ is up 35. Russell's down 11. Semi's off 14. Trendy's down 90. Gold is up $5. Silver's down a penny. Light to recruit is off 245. Natural gas up 6 cents. 30 year treasury. Print out at 125.16. That's up 11 ticks. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We'll begin with the ES Mini on the upper left-hand side. What do we have here? Well, we actually have a new profile that is attempting to form. Um, the support zone, uh, and this is now I've got, uh, as you know, use two different charting applications. And sometimes uh, with, with regard to market profiles, they generate different data. Right now, you've got the uh, center and the bottom at the exact same place. That seems pretty solid. So the support zone is between 54.49 and 55.04. A close above 55.04 is going to suggest a move to 55.42. And above that, we'd be looking at a move to the uh, 55.87 area. Now, kind of tough to do all that with a spot fix index that is trading above its 50-day expense moving average. The 50-day is currently at 11, uh, 1745, spot fix at 1971. But if we do start trading below yesterday's low, and yesterday's low in the spot fix is, was 1929. If we start trading below that, we're likely to see a continued rally inside the S&P 500. Particularly the NQ, the NQ also attempting to form a new profile, bullish in structure as well. That level of the price of the buy zone, so to speak, 18475 to 18881. A close above 18881, we could see move all the way up to the 19693 level. U.S. dollar index is taking on a, you know, it's basically trading in a sideways consolidation at least at this stage. The resistance level up here on a daily time frame is 1 194. That's the bottom of its daily profile. Gold just consolidating sideways as well. So very much looking like that U.S. dollar index. Trading with inside its profile support 2489. Resistance 2560. Silver in somewhat of a sideways consolidation. Now it's struggling to get back inside its profile. It would accomplish that task with a close above 2876. Uh, Light speed crude needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm a buy the D point pattern. Natural gas uh, again continues to rally up towards resistance. And that is where counter trend moves would typically end. And that's at the $2.27 mark and the 30-year treasury is getting ready to take on its td9 count top before to close above 126.30 we'd have an a to b we'll cd pattern to the upside folks stay tuned for the trader's ed show but if you're off to start your tuesday have a terrific one thanks for joining us and we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon take care now